Hello and welcome. Today we're going to explore a fantastic thing, which is to create anime-like videos. Now, a picture is worth a thousand words, but a video is worth maybe a billion words. So let's go ahead and watch the video first, then we're going to go ahead and try to create something similar to it. This is part of the new update for this course, the ChatGPT powered automation or YouTube automation course. Let's get right into it. In life, it's not about the destination, but the journey that shapes us. Every challenge is a chance to grow stronger with those around you. Don't fear the unknown. Embrace it, like the river flowing forward. Your true power lies not in what you've been through, but in the kindness you choose to give. Remember, the light always returns. All right, so let's go and actually create something beautiful like this using animations. Now, first thing is first, we need to write a script. So let's go ahead and ask ChatGPT. Could you suggest a wisdom that I could share through a video or anime, an anime video, uh, video for YouTube Shorts and uh, TikTok, right? Based on trends and uh, and market analyses. Give me some ideas. So it's uh, great to, or actually give me some ideas, but it's great to brainstorm a lot of different things. Now, the power of consistency, that's a pretty good idea. Uh, here, it actually gave us ideas. The power of consistency, I'm going to go with it. Day one struggles with basic tasks. Day two, okay, so here's the thing. I'm going to say now, write a script for this 45 second video and make sure to write the voiceover for each five seconds and to briefly describe the background as a photo it would be it would be anime style so go ahead now it knows for every five seconds, write the voiceover. So it went ahead and did it, and that's pretty nice. With the exception that the visual, it took quite some time, quite some, uh, a lot of words to describe it. I'm gonna let it until it finishes working on it. But I'm gonna, what I'm gonna say is, I'm gonna say, shorten the description of the visual, description of the visual, and only focus on important details. Uh, on important details, then elaborate a bit more on the voiceovers. Because these voiceovers are pretty small, right? So right now, it is proceeding. Okay, voiceover for day one, for day two, for day three. I think it really did elaborate a lot more on the voiceover, but it's okay. So here, we have all of our voiceovers. We have all of our scene descriptions. What I'm going to say is I'm going to say, assemble all the voiceovers in one paragraph, right? And write all the descriptions in a bullet list so that it can put them in a bullet list. This way it's easier for me. Then what I want you to do is to go to this tool called Leonardo AI and click image creation, right? So we're gonna set this up. So once you click image creation here, make sure you click size and that you go for a different size. So I'm gonna click on more, go for TikTok nine by 16. You can also edit it by moving this wherever you like. And I'd like to generate four images at a time with quality mode, but it's not Leonardo Phoenix. You can go for the anime mode. And here uh, there is either anime general or anime illustration, anime background, retro, semi-realism. There is a, bun a bunch of things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually keep it as is, right? Anime general. And uh, I'm going to go for quality mode. And now we'll go back to chat GPT to start placing the descriptions. So I'm going to place the first five descriptions into here so that it can proceed to generate these particular scenes for us. So I'm going to paste this in, hit generate. Then I'm going to go back, right? Early morning training with the protagonist. Um, okay. Right, so I'm just going to copy them as they are. It's not a big problem. Right, protagonist. Uh, I, 
we can we can achieve character consistency, but we're not really looking for it. We're just looking to create some anime scenes that would fit into a video. And so that's what I'm doing right now. So I'm going to copy, like I said, I'm going to copy five descriptions. I could do more than five, but I would do only five because that would simply uh, make it easier. Now, this is the fourth. Let's do five and then we'll do the rest because we still have to go and generate the voiceover. Now, inside of Canva, you also have access to Canva uh, voiceovers. But then again, they only give you about uh, some free credits that would not last you very long. Then you'd have to pay for these apps. They're called Canva apps. Now, I'm just going to be clicking and pasting everything here that I need to paste. There you go. And uh, this is the fifth. So I'll paste this one and, and generate it. Okay. All right. You can see this is nice. So let's wait a second and hit generate. And right now, I'm going to use 11 labs to generate the voiceover. As you know, 11 labs is my software of choice. So I'm going to go to 11 labs and it's the best in the market. It's better than Speechlo and all these softwares. I don't want these guys to sue me for def defamation. I'm not defaming them or anything. I'm just saying the truth. In my honest opinion, 11 labs is the best hands down. There are other software that are good like Murph, for example, it's a pretty good one, but I don't really think there is some tool that is as good as 11 labs. So here, in terms of speech synthesis, you have two uh, simple and advanced, but I'm just going to keep it simple. And right here, I'm going to use a voice of a motivator. Now I have Michael, I have Jack. I have a lot of voices. In this case, I think I'm going to go with Adam. And I'm going to take all these voiceovers right here. Right. And basically, I'm going to copy paste that voiceover to generate a voiceover. Hopefully it's under 50 seconds or under 60 seconds. I don't want it to be large. And so here it is going and going to carry on. Let me wait a second. You have to listen to Day the voiceover. One. Every beginning feels heavy, like you're carrying the weight of the world. But remember, every master was once a beginner. Day 10. Progress is slow, almost invisible. But each morning you rise, you're stronger than the day before. Step by step, you're shaping yourself. It's the quiet victories no one sees that matter most. In those moments of doubt, remember, it's not talent that pushes you forward. It's showing up, even when it's tough. Day 100. The world changes around you, but your resolve stays the same. That's how champions are born. Perfection? It doesn't exist. But progress? That's where true strength lies. I'm going to pause it for a second because I'm going to delete uh, this final part. Because as you can see now, it's 1.7 seconds. So it's more than a minute and it should be less than a minute. Because if you want it to be a short, it has to be 60 seconds or less. Day 1. Every beginning feels heavy, like you're carrying the weight of the world. But remember, every master was once a beginner. I'm going to pause for a second to download. Then we can keep going to listen to everything. Now, the reason why I'm listening, because sometimes there might be some glitches, technical issues. You have to listen to make sure your voiceover is pure and doesn't have any problems. Let's get back into A10. it. A10. Progress is slow, almost invisible. But each morning you rise... You're stronger than the day before. Step by step, you're shaping yourself. It's the quiet victories no one sees that matter most. In those moments of doubt, remember, it's not talent that pushes you forward. It's showing up, even when it's tough. Day 100. The world changes around you, but your resolve stays the same. That's how champions are born. Perfection. It doesn't exist, but progress. That's where true strength lies. It's the small victories, the tiny steps, that build something greater than you ever imagined. One day you'll look back and see how far you've climbed. That's pretty good. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close that because I've already downloaded my voiceover. And now I'm going to go and click on create a design in canva.com. I want you to go to canva.com, click create a design. Then click on custom size and make sure that you go for a size of a short. Now, as a matter of fact, we can click for you and we can search here for shorts or TikTok. Now, this is a YouTube short, right? It's uh, 1,080 by 1,920. 
That is the correct uh, way. Now, as far as the scenes, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine scenes. Uh, but first of all, let us go ahead and add the voiceover in. Okay, then we can separate the scenes or we can do it uh, before. Like I said, we have nine scenes. So nine scenes and our voiceover is about uh, 58 seconds. So we have to do the math of 58 divided by nine. Sorry, but I'm going to have to use the calculator to do this. I'm getting lazier and lazier. That's not an admirable thing to say, but, you know, divided by nine, it's 6.4. I'm going to say about, I'm going to keep it six, about six point uh, or six, because we want to add, actually, it should be about seven because we want, we also want to add uh, uh, basically what we call them transitions. So I want you to go over here and click on duration, right? So that it shows these pages here. And then just continue to, before you add a page, the first page should be timed at about, let's make it 6.9. Okay. Then I want you to right click here and duplicate the page. And then we want to duplicate it until we have nine. So now we have all these three. You can select all of them like this and then right click, duplicate three pages, then duplicate them one more time. Now we have another seven. Then in between them, I want you to add a transition. This transition could be anything. I'm going to use the dissolve and apply between all pages. And you can see that it's 58 seconds to be precise. Then you can click on your voiceover and you can drag it here in the upload section. All right. And you can see it's already uploading. When you see that little that water uh, going from the bottom to the top, you can see that it's uploading. And uh, once we have uploaded our voiceover, you'll find it in the audio section here. There it is. And you want to make sure that you click your voiceover and it will apply it from the beginning to the end. Now, I'm not sure if at the final one, we have the final scene, if we have the entire voiceover. That is why I'm going to actually uh, click this one here, and I would like to increase the, the length of it. So I'm going to click on duration. You can see it lets me move this slightly. And so I can see that, uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. So we were able to listen to all of it. It's okay if the last scene takes more than the others, but now I want you to click on the first scene. And uh, you can switch duration off just so you can be more productive, right? And then you can go to uh, here, to Canva, or not Canva, I'm sorry, to uh, uh, Leonardo AI, and we'll copy the first couple of scenes. Now, we have a lot of beautiful scenes here of a, I don't know if it's a samurai. I kind of like this one right here. Okay, so I'm going to download this first one. Then I want you to go back and then click and drag your anime picture over here, okay? So once you have dragged it, just leave it there. Then go to number two. Here we have for number two, we have a couple of scenes and uh, I like this one better. So I'm going to download it, right? And then I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna click and I'm going to paste it, okay? Then go to number three. At number three, we have another scene. Uh, we have some very beautiful scenes over here and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of them. This one is great. I'm going to take it and basically I would like to paste it over here, right? Then we're going to go to number four. And at number four, I'm going to scroll up and you can see we have some beautiful scenes. I kind of uh, like this one better. So I'm going to download this one, then go back. I'm going to click and you can see that the animations are really good. They have good coloring and all of that. Now go to number five. Go back to Leonardo and I'm going to scroll up. We have some beautiful scenes here. So these are scenes that are pretty nice. Uh, I'm not going to download scene, scenes where there are cars. I don't want to show cars. I'm going to download this scene and then click and basically drag the scene over here. Now you can already see kind of what I'm doing. Now let's go back to ChatGPT for a second for the rest of the scenes. Okay. Now these are one, two, three, four, five. So we should go and generate the rest of the scenes. This is scene number six. So I'm going to double click over here and paste it. And then I'm going to hit generate. Okay. Then I'm going to go back here, a close up of the protagonist. Da, da, da. So I'm going to copy it like this, double click and then paste. Right. So this is going to be the seventh scene. Okay. Now let me just double click and paste. Okay. Then I'm going to click generate. Now let's go back. We have two more. This one protagonist. 
Now, we didn't define a protagonist. Now, we could have gone for what we call character consistency by using the image reference here, uh, but I'm not going to do this in this case. So I'm going to paste this right over here and then finally click generate. Okay, now that's the eighth. Now let's go for the ninth scene. Okay, so I'm going to copy the ninth scene and then double click and paste. All right, that's about it. All right, that's going to be the ninth one and we're just going to seal this off. Now, of course, we're still far from over. There's a couple of things that we need to go and do in order to make this video better. Now, I'm going to scroll to the top and basically I'm going to copy the title of the video. And as it seems, the title of this video is called The Power of Consistency. So I'm going to copy the title Power of Consistency, paste it here inside of Canva. Now, in Canva, we're only going to generate the raw, the raw video with no extra effects. We're going to add the effects and captions and music in CapCut. So let, let's scroll down a bit. And then here we have the other scenes that are missing. And we have some very interesting scenes. All right. So I like this one right here. OK, so I will download it. But then again, there's a lot of other ones that are much better. Let me just check this out and see which one I'm going to go with. I'm actually going to go with this one. Right. So I'll download it. And on page number six, I will paste it in. OK, but then again, I'm not sure if I did download it. Let me try it again. Yeah, actually, I did. So after you download an image and do it image by image because you don't want to get confused. So go ahead and place the image. Now, we already added transitions and also we don't need to do anything else. Now, here we have these beautiful characters. Now, pick one that you can use. In my case, I'm actually going to go ahead with this one right here. OK. And uh, we have the two final scenes, right? Now, the ones with text, I don't recommend that you use the ones with text. Uh, even though there is an option here in Canva, which is called Canva Magic Studio, that enables you to work with text, even with an image, you can remove text out of it. Now, here we have some beautiful scenes. This one is the best, in my opinion. I'll be downloading it. And best is relative and subjective. So it depends on you, what you consider best versus which you not which you do not consider best. So I'm going to scroll up and then here we have these scenes. Now we're going to pick one that we like. I think I think we're just going to need to work with what we have. So I'm going to download this one, even though it has text, but I can remove the text and I'll show you how. So first off, let's place the image here. I'll show you how you can remove the text. Now go back to the first page and what you want to do, you want to right click on the first page and you want to set the image to the background. Then you want to go ahead and do it for the second page. And then you want to go ahead and do it for the third page. And so each and every single page, we're going to take those images and set them as backgrounds, right? And then we're going to do a very beautiful effect as well to the images. But first of all, let's just set them to the background. And then we can do a very beautiful effect. So I'm setting this up as the background as well. Then now I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And I want you to click this image and edit it. OK, so edit the image. Then click here on the grab text option and grab the text. Right. So we want to grab the text out of this design. Now I'm going to zoom out because there is still more text that I'm not able to see. This is the first one. This is the second one. And I can grab it right that way. I don't compromise the image and I use it even though there is text I don't like. I can remove and then use the image. Right. And that was not possible before this option here, which is Canva Magic Studio. Now let's delete all of this. Now, actually, I duplicated them by mistake. I want to delete them. So you can just click and hit enter and click and hit enter here. And you can see that we've deleted them. Then I'm going to click on the first page. I'm going to click animate. And I want to add a breath, breed. OK, and I want to apply to all pages. That way, all pages have an animation. Then I can actually zoom in a bit. And you can see that this is quite nice looking. I like it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and add here raw video because this is a raw video. We still haven't decided about the music and we still haven't ha added the captions. So I'm going to download this as a 4K MP4 video. I'm going to click download. Then I want you to go to Google and then we can search for a piece of music on Pixabay. So I'm going to search for Samurai Music pixabay no copyright and basically all music on pixabay 
uh, that says they have no copyright can relatively be trusted. Of course, you have to make sure you try and uh, test it out yourself. You don't want to use a music just because I'm telling you it's trustworthy. You want to use your own, uh, do your own due diligence. Now let's try this Coco or Koto. This one is good, okay? So I think I'm just gonna click and download it, all right? So now I've downloaded my music. The video is on its way. And before the video gets downloaded, I want you to click on CapCut so that you can open CapCut up, right? Open up CapCut and we can start a new project inside of CapCut. Don't worry, it's not gonna take a long time because we've already done most of the work, right? So we already have created the raw video. Now it's only gonna take us some time to edit this video. Now our video is basically now rendering, it's done. It has a voiceover in it. We can watch it, but I would rather prefer that we render the entire video so that you can watch it afterwards, okay? Okay, so inside of CapCut, click create a project once everything is now ready. And I'm gonna go ahead and open up CapCut so that we can start a new project. So once you're inside of CapCut, here's what you should do. First of all, you should click on import and then you should go ahead and import your raw video in addition to the music. So I'm going to go over here and I'm gonna click Power of Consistency along with Keto Traditional Music by clicking Alt to select them both open now once you open this up you want to add the file before the music so i'm going to drag my raw video here it's already 9 by 16 inches which is nice but here's the trick if you want to make sure that it is 100 percent 9 by 16 inches watch this you need to click right here on ratio and make sure that you set it up as 9 by 16 now it's already 9 by 16 i know because we have done it in canva but in case you want to click here, you can click on ratio and you can make sure this is nine by 16. Okay. So now we have the raw video, right click. Okay. Extract the audio from the video, click on the audio, right? This is an audio. It's a different uh, part now. And you want to increase the volume a bit. And then if you have this pro option, I have CapCut pro. I paid $40 for a year because I purchased it from mobile from the store and that was a promotion that i don't think they're still running today because it's double the price but obviously because i work on the internet i kept waiting and when i found the opportunity to get it for half the price i got it for it and you won't find a promotion such as that and if someone is promoting it to you you won't find it okay I, it's just that i was lucky so i paid 40 dollars for an entire year for 12 months okay maybe a little bit more maybe 45 44 i'm not sure but uh, it's tw two times less the price, okay? Now, I'm going to click Enhance Voice right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to enhance the voice to a maximum, all right? So enhancing the voice to a maximum is what I'm doing right now. All right, so after enhancing the voice, I would like you to go to Adjustment right here. And there is an option which is called Custom Adjustment. I would like you to then drag the Custom Adjustment and then to actually spread it, all right? So I'm going to click it. And then I'm going to spread it across. Okay. Then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to adjust. So I'm going to go add some temp, add some tint, add some saturation. I'm also going to add some exposure, some contrast, some highlights. I'm going to add some shadow, some white colors, some black colors, some brilliance, some sharpening, and some clarity. Okay. Now, after adding all of these, what I want you to do is go to effects. Now, in terms of effects, there's a lot of effects that you can add. One of them, is you can add a kind of, uh, let's just say, flames effect, or you can add a color flicker effect. You can add a, uh, let's just say, smoke effect. So let's go ahead and look for smoke. Because since this is anime, uh, I think that would do well. It's actually called the mist. Then there is fog. But I think that mist is better. So I'm going to apply a mist to the video, okay? And that, I'm going to apply it to the entire thing, like this. And you can see that it's quite nice, right? So after applying the mist, what I want you to do is to click on Captions. And then right here in Captions, you have an option which is called Captions. Now, I'm going to generate, because I have Pro option, I can generate captions infinitely. And I can choose from an infinite number of templates. But in your case, you will have five times to generate captions. That's all you're going to get. And that's new because CapCut used to give 
uh, people the opportunity to generate captions for free for basically about two to three years uh, or more because they've been there from 2019, if I'm, if I'm correct, 2018, 2019. And uh, they've given people the option to create captions for a very long time. But now they've turned that option pro, okay? And uh, you can expect that because a lot of people are depending on this option now for content creation. And so you can expect to see that this is a move that they wanted to do from a long time ago to force a lot of people that are using CapCut for free to start paying for a monthly membership. Now, the captions are ready, but you need to go here and click captions to read them to ensure there is no grammatical mistake. For instance, day one, every beginning feels heavy, like you're carrying the weight of the world, but remember every master was once a beginner. Day 10, progress is slow, almost invisible, but each morning you rise, you're stronger than the day before. Step by step, you're shaping yourself. It's the quiet victories. No one sees that that uh, matters most in those moments of doubt. Remember, it's not talent that pushes you around uh, forward. It's showing up even when it's tough. Day 100, the world changes around you, but your resolve, your resolve stays the same. That's how champions are born. Perfection doesn't, uh, it doesn't exist, but progress, that's where true strength lies. It's the small uh, victories, uh, the tiny steps that build something greater than you ever imagined. Once One day, you'll look back and see how far you've climbed. So I'm going to switch to text. Make sure that you never unselect the captions and then click template. So if you ever unselect the captions, you can just, for example, uh, select them like this, just like you would select anything in your computer. And then go to templates in text, click text and click templates. There's a lot of templates that you can use that are suited for anime. In my case, I'm going to scroll down because I have one template in mind that I think is going to work best for me. Now, there's a lot of pro and free templates. You get to choose which one you want. Now, in my honest opinion, I'm going to keep scrolling because there is one that I like, and it is the brown template. I'm going to click on this particular template here. And there's free templates as well that you can utilize. For example, this one is free. This one is free. But they change a lot of uh, uh, many times. So sometimes they're free. Sometimes they're pro. Uh, you can never know, right? Uh, but the brown is good. And I want you to move your needle right in the middle of a, of a, in the middle of a caption. Make sure that they're all selected. And then I want you to move the caption to the middle because it has to be moved into the middle. And now at the very beginning, what we will do is we will go and apply the background music. So I'm going to select the music, drag and drop it. Now we're going to cut the extra part at the end by clicking. Now you can use this option, which is called delete left. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, it's delete right. It will delete right, or you can just cut it and delete that part. And then you can click on your music. Here you have the option to decrease the volume of the music considerably so that it plays gently in the background. You can also fade it in and fade it out. And basically now we have our uh, video that we can play a little bit of and then we can render to watch. Day one. Every beginning feels heavy, like you're carrying the weight of the world. All right, so I'm going to export this video. And once it's ready, we're going to watch it together. Now it's at 59 seconds, so it's less than 60 seconds. So it will go as a short as well as a TikTok and a reel. Now I'm going to click over here on 60 frames per second. Actually. I don't need that. I'm just going to keep it 30. And here, I want to go for 4K quality. And basically, if you scroll down, you have the option, which is called check copyright. But this is not going to work until your video or unless your video is more than one minute. And they'll be the first to tell you that. And if you click it, it won't work. And this is a good, good feature because if there is a music that has copyright issues or copyright claims, they will let you know that the music has a problem and that you shouldn't be using it. Now, I'm going to go over here in the name. And basically, I'm going to name this... The power of consistency, consistency hyphen cap cut, and I'm going to click export. Okay, so I'll see you or not see you. I'll let you watch the video once it's done, once it's ready. It's going to play right after I stop now. Day one. Every beginning feels heavy, like you're carrying the weight of the world. But remember, Every master was once a beginner. Day 10. Progress is slow, almost invisible. But each morning you rise, you're stronger than the day before. Step by step, you're shaping yourself. It's the quiet victories no one sees that matter most. In those moments of doubt, 
Remember, it's not talent that pushes you forward. It's showing up, even when it's tough. Day 100. The world changes around you, but your resolve stays the same. That's how champions are born. Perfection. It doesn't exist, but progress. That's where true strength lies. It's the small victories, the tiny steps, that build something greater than you ever imagined. One day you'll look back and see how far you've climbed.